हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट इज स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस वॉट इज इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल सो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल ट्राई टू मर्ज वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न टिल नाउ सो लेट मी टेल यू क्विकली वॉट वी हैव इंक्लूडेड इन दिस सीनारियो सो दिस इज यू कैन से टाइमिंग एंड कंट्रोल यूनिट ऑफ बेसिक कंप्यूटर दिस इज टाइमिंग डायग्राम just for your reference this is instruction cycle then this is common bus architecture and this is uh, stored program organization so today we will try to understand that uh, the things which are looking individual actually how it is combined and how they work together so let us start our discussion so today we will try to merge this hardware of control unit then this hardware of common bus architecture and this conceptual part of uh, instruction cycle so let us start so whenever we will start the execution of any program let us assume that this is our process uh, program which is stored in uh, hard disk but whenever you will bring that uh, process or program into ram okay it will be converted uh, into this instruction so let's say this is our process p1 so uh, process will have set of instruction and uh, set of data means program will be divided into two part instruction part and data part instruction part will uh, store all the instruction while data part will store all the data so as you can see uh, our uh, program is starting from memory location 001 and it is ending on 004 okay and uh, from 005 to we can say 00b or 00d Uh, we are having data part where we will store the data so how this execution will take place whenever uh, we will have uh, uh, any uh, instruction execution so when our process will start the initial address of process will be loaded into program counter okay so uh, initial value of program counter will be 001 okay now what will happen at t0 means here in first clock cycle we will transfer the content of pc into ar so what is what was the initial value of program counter it was 001 and it will be transferred into address register 001 we will provide this address to address register so we can have uh, oh, we can fetch the instruction from the memory so into this bus architecture content of pc uh, will be transferred to ar means pc will be selected by uh, providing this uh, uh, value as a uh, 0 uh, 010 and uh, then load input of ar will be enabled so content of pc will be stored into address register so it can be used by uh, memory next what will happen at uh, t1 so initial value of sequence counter was 0 okay so here value of initial value of sequence counter is 0 t0 now what will happen in next clock cycle content uh, content of m of ar means memory of 001 what is memory of 001 this 0010 at uh, 0009 okay so if you try to recall the um, those addressing uh, symbol okay then uh, uh, it is for addition it is 001 okay so for uh, addition it is one so uh, what will be the value it will be like uh, 1009 okay this is combinedly represent the opcode and addressing mode and this represent the address and pc is equals to pc plus 1 so instead of 001 new value of pc is 002 clear now value of sequence counter will be 1 what will happen in next clock cycle decode ir into 12 to 14 so here uh, this uh, at uh, op code will be decoded so uh, addressing mode is 0 and uh, uh, you can say op code is also 001 so uh, output will be uh, we will get output on d1 okay we will get output on d1 so at t2 
instruction uh, will be decoded at that same time value of sequence counter will be 2 now ar is equals to ir of 0 to 11 so here 0 to 11 is 0 0 9 so new value of ar will be uh, if we can say uh, 0 0 9 value of sequence counter is 2 and new value of ar is 0 0 9 okay so uh, and uh, what is the value of i uh, here in this instruction value of i is 0 so addressing mode is direct now from which uh, output we are getting output means in decoder from which pin we were getting output d1 okay so value of d7 will be 0 so that means we have to go to the memory reference instruction now then the value of i will be checked what is value of i value of i is 0 okay so nothing and then the memory reference will be memory reference instruction will be executed so while it will check whether direct or indirect addressing mode value of sequence counter will be 3 okay and uh, from sequence counter 4 onwards or you can say t4 onwards that instruction will be executed let's assume that instruction is executed and again uh, we will set sequence counter to 0 so again clock cycle will begin uh, pc to ar so what is the new address into pc 002 so it will be loaded into ar so that is 002 initial value of sequence counter will be again 0 next uh, what will happen at uh, t1 ir is equals to m of ar so 1 sta 007 now can anybody uh, can you just try to recall that what is the value of uh, uh, operation uh, store or store accumulator anyway can you just try to recall it uh, so for store it will be uh, 3 value of store is 3 okay so if we try to convert this into binary okay then it will be like uh, it will be like b007 okay so for uh, store it is op code is uh, 011 yes uh, we forgot to increment the program counter so new value of uh, program counter will be 003 while uh, we will increment uh, the program counter value of sequence counter will be 1 at t1 while we will uh, uh, go to the next step new value of sequence counter will be 2 what is what will happen in this step in this step b007 will be decoded so how it will be decoded 1 and then 0 uh, 0 uh, sorry 0 1 1 okay and address is 0 0 7 so uh, decoding will be done and uh, this time we will get output from d3 we will get output from d3 okay for end we will get output from d0 then for end we will get output from d1 then low lda we will get output from d2 then sta we will get output from d3 d4 d5 d6 up to so uh, all the memory reference instruction will range into d0 to d6 in case of register reference and io reference instruction we will get output from the d7 so uh, we will try to decode a uh, computer will try to decode the instruction and uh, ar is equals to ir of uh, 0 to 11 so new well new content of ar will be 007 so uh, this will be done in t2 okay at that time value of sequence counter will be 2 now again uh, uh, it will go to the next clock cycle during that it will check are we getting output from d7 no here we are getting output from d3 so uh, we will go to this side we will check what is value of i what is value of i value of i is 1 so um, at that time uh, i will be set to 1 so indirect bit ar is equals to m of ar so what is value of uh, ar current value 007 so what is on 007 triple zero c so ar is equals to m of triple zero c what is on triple zero c uh, let's say oh, nothing it is empty so uh, instead of 007 new value of ar will be 00c
clear now this is a store instruction so we are not getting anything from the memory but we will store something uh, on this location so this will be uh, on uh, t3 and then on t4 onwards again instruction will be executed and it will be uh, a sequence counter will be set to zero now again new clock cycle will begin uh, so what is value of uh, next instruction it is uh, uh, zero so Okay, let us start from first step PC to AR. So, what is value of PC? 003. So, new con new content of AR will be 003. Then uh, PC and uh, in next instruction again we have to initialize the sequence counter. So, 0 in next it is 1. So, what we will do at T1? IR is equals to M of AR. IR is equals to M of 003. So, it is 0 and 00B. So, it will be like 0 0 0 b clear with this okay and uh, pc is equals to pc plus 1 so 003 will be incremented to 004 next uh, what what we will do in next clock cycle sequence counter will be incremented so new value will be uh, 2 so here we will try to decode the instruction so uh, here we will uh, put this value so here it is 0 0 0 0 and address is uh, ar is equals to ir uh, so so here we will write on uh, 0 0 on uh, what is value for uh, b sorry it's my mistake so 10 zero, 10 zero is for uh, a so 1011 so here it will be b zero zero b so zero zero all, all four zero all four zero and uh, one zero one one it will be like that okay clear uh, then ar is equals to ir of zero to eleven so new value of ar will be zero zero b now uh, this is the uh, then uh, we will try to decode the opcode means bit number 000 12 13 14 so we will get output from d0 so uh, we will check what is value of d7 why value of d7 is 0 why we will get output from the d0 value of d0 will be 1 so uh, here it will go to the memory reference instruction then it will check the value of i what is value of i it is zero okay so uh, it will not perform anything so here t3 will be wasted it will wait do nothing and from t4 onwards again instruction will continue and let's say sequence counter is set to zero now next last instruction that is uh, 004 uh which is on 004 initial value is 004 now pc to ar so in new content of ar will be 004 then uh, ir is equals to m of ar so in ir we will have 7001 so 0 is done 1 is done uh, we have to increment the program counter new value of program counter will be 005 now in next clock cycle uh, it is t2 so decode opcode into ir so here it will be zero all one and here it will be Zero, zero, 001 clear with this okay so this time we will get output from the d7 okay so what we can say we if we will get output from d0 to d6 that means it is memory reference but if we are getting output on d7 then either it is register reference or it is uh, you can say uh, input output instruction so uh, in t2 we will try to decode the instruction 
AR is equals to IR of 0 to 11. So in AR it will be new value will be 0, 0, 001. Then uh, I is equals to IR of 15. So 0 will be stored into I. And then we will check value of D7. Yes, here it is 7. So we will get output into D7. So either it is IO or register reference. Then we will check with the uh, I. So what is value of I? Value of I is 0. So then we will execute the register reference instruction. What is the instruction? It is hold. Okay, hold means hold the execution. Okay, so there will be no further execution likewise. Okay, so this is how an instruction cycle and common bus system and a timing and control unit of basic computer and uh, stored program organization work combinedly and it will help us to execute the instruction. Thank you.